handling skills. Starring Olympic and world champion Tomas Barago. Today, sports are demanding more creative and artistic playing skills. But before you can make the trick pass or the flashy play, you must have the fundamentals, the basics. And these must be practiced over and over. This video will show you two types of fundamental ball handling skills, the basic and the creative. Practicing these skills will improve your coordination, hand-eye quickness, and general reaction time. They will strengthen your fingertips, wrists, forearms, shoulders, and legs. They will develop your ability to concentrate and help build your self-confidence and poise for pressurized game situations. These are the skills and drills that made Tomas Farago one of the greatest water polo players of all time. To pick the ball up from underneath, place the palm of the hand with fingers widespread and relaxed under the ball and lift. Relax. Take the ball. Don't grab or squeeze it. Hold the ball in a loose grip with some space between the palm of your hand and the ball. The ball is then lifted to a position above the head by rotating the wrist in a half circle in preparation for the throw. Try not to use a new ball in practice. Look for the old, worn-out, slippery balls. The old ones require better skills and techniques and will help you become a better player. You must also practice all skills with both your right and left hands and practice picking the ball up from different locations. Body position and a strong egg beater is important. Notice how the offhand is used for balance and support. To pick the ball up from the top, the palm of the hand with fingers widespread is placed on top of the ball. The ball is then pressed into the water and quickly released. As the hand is drawn away, the pressure of the water causes it to rebound and stick to the palm of the hand. As the ball slightly clears the surface of the water, the wrist is rotated in a half circle to allow the hand to get underneath the ball. Pickup drills should always simulate game situations with intensity and concentration. It is a maxim of water polo that you should never dribble the ball when you have the opportunity to pass. To pick up the ball from a swimming or dribbling situation, you should only use the two-handed or assisted pickup. When perfected, this technique gives you greater control over the ball than all other techniques. The lead hand pushes or hands off the ball to the throwing hand, and the body is rotated into the proper throwing position. Two hands are never in contact with the ball at the same time. Once the ball is touched or controlled by the lead hand, you no longer need to look at the ball. Look around, look at the situation, look at the goalie. If the situation is no good, you can always put the ball back on the water and swim away. This is a skill which must be practiced over and over until mastered. Picking up the ball with the back of the hand and rolling the ball into the palm is creative technique that should be practiced to improve your feel for the ball and your coordination.
If mastered, the back of the hand pickup is a useful skill that can catch both defenders and goalkeepers off guard. While it is also possible to pick up the ball with your feet, this is really a practice only skill. Foot drills are challenging, fun, and will improve your game by improving your overall coordination and balance in the water. The fingertip tap drill is designed to strengthen your fingers and fingertips. Fingertip strength is essential for ball handling and throwing the ball with speed and accuracy. In this drill, the ball is tapped in the air from the fingertips with arms straight. In this variation of the tap drill, the arms are extended and elbows are locked. As the ball is tapped back and forth with straight fingers from the wrist, the arms move from horizontal to vertical positions. This drill requires great concentration. Another finger and hand strengthening drill is squeezing the banana. In this drill, the fingertips actually squeeze the ball into the air. Slippery balls are definitely better for this one. By moving the arms above the head, the arms and shoulders are also strengthened. Passing the ball behind the back is a coordination and concentration drill, which is the first step in mastering the around the world drill. Around the world is a great drill for practicing the two-handed pickup and learning to sense and control the ball without looking at it. The backhand flip and roll is a coordination and concentration drill that simulates the backhanded pickup. It is also one of many drills that can be practiced during leg work, like the water wheel and finger spinning. Balance and coordination in the water are essential for any water polo player. Few drills require more balance and coordination than balancing the ball on your head. Head juggling is another drill that will improve your athletic agility and your game. When you've got those drills down, try foot juggling. Rebound boards are especially useful in developing proper throwing and catching techniques and should be used throughout the year. The first drill in this sequence of throwing techniques is the tap drill. The tap drill is a great warm-up and coordination exercise that also develops finger and wrist strength, essential for all throwing techniques. The tap drill should be practiced close to the board and can be performed with two hands, one hand only and with alternate hands. The first true throwing technique in the drill sequence is the wrist flick. Beginning athletes should start fairly close to the board. As you develop, you should move farther away. The ball never goes behind the head, and the throw is made primarily by a flick of the wrist and snap of the fingers.
like almost all throws in this sequence, the wrist flick should be practiced with both hands. When throwing the ball with a full arm motion, it is important that you use your entire body. As the ball is taken behind your head, your shoulder should rotate and generate torque for maximum power and speed. For accuracy, the ball should move in a straight line from back to front. At the end of the motion, the wrist should flick and the fingers should snap. To catch the ball, the fingers should be relaxed, spread widely, and slightly bent at the joints. Do not attempt to stop the ball, but continue in the direction of the pass, bending back the hand at the wrist with a light movement of the elbow or shoulder. The sweep or sling resembles the technique of a discus thrower. Do not bend the elbow when sweeping. The ball is thrown with a straight arm that sweeps low over the water. Rotation of the head, chin, shoulder and hips is what gives the ball velocity. The push or screw is a great way to make a quick pass or shot while swimming. The screw should always begin with the non-passing hand assisting the pickup. As the ball is handed back to the shooting hand, the shoulders and body rotate into shooting position. As the ball is picked up, it is slightly drawn back to the shoulder release position. As the ball is released, the arm shoots forward in a piston-like motion. Another spectacular and effective technique is accomplished by teeing up the ball on one palm and shooting it off the tee with the fingertips of the opposite hand. The tee shot is relatively easy to learn, but it is difficult to perfect and is the one throw that should only be used with the strong hand. As the ball is teed up, the shooting hand and arm appear to be doing a normal crawl recovery stroke. To be a complete offensive player, you should master the backhand with both right and left hand. The backhand progression begins with the half backhand. The throw originates in the shoulder, with the elbow and wrist following. The backhanded wrist flick is thrown from a straight arm which is stretched out across the water at a 90 degree angle to the direction of the throw. While the elbow is straight, it is turned toward the direction of the throw. The advantage of the wrist flick is its quick release and short range accuracy. The backhand can be taken with either a bent or a straight arm. Backhanded shots are thrown with a great deal of velocity because of the body torque, but are sometimes hard to control. However, as experience is gained through practice, a great deal of control can be achieved. The faultless execution of the forward volley from a pass requires great ball handling skill and a flawless sense of timing. Anticipating the pass, the player rises out of the water with vigorous leg action. Concentration is the key to calculating the precise spot and moment to touch the ball. The start of the throwing action almost coincides with the completion of the shot. Recognizing the principle of the coordination correlation, Farago advocates practicing with both feet and head to improve overall hand-eye coordination.
All the drills you've seen on the rebound board can and should be practiced with a partner. You can also practice shooting with your teammates. One player shoots five or ten consecutive shots while the other blocks the ball and returns it to the shooter. But you don't need to be in the pool to practice water polo. You can improve your game at home, in front of the TV, or in your backyard with drills that will improve your ability to perform with the ball in the water. The number and variety of dry land drills with the ball is limited only by your imagination.
Direction is accomplished by executing a fast body turn. The knees are drawn into the chest. The hands skull to change the body's position and direction as the legs prepare for a powerful starting scissor kick. It is essential that the turn be executed quickly in order to save time and produce a fast overall view of the new situation. Water polo is a game of quick starts, stops, turns and multiple changes of direction. While this drill may look like total confusion, it's a great conditioner. When performing this drill, it is important to always return to a position of center balance before changing direction. Shooting requires more power than passing. Power is partially determined by the distance the arm travels from the start of the throw to the follow through. The distance the arm can move is in turn determined by body balance and torque, or how much the body is used to assist the arm. Shots can be simple or complex, but it is essential that all shots be perfectly executed with pinpoint accuracy. The backhand wrist flick. One hundred eighty degree spin shot. The wrist flick. The rear back. The T shot. The T shot from underwater. The sweep. A 180 degree spin, backhand roll fake, and a spinner lob. A 360 degree spin, rear back. Practice, experiment, and develop your own techniques to score in specialized game situations.